Video number two. You know how you have parents that, well, when a child is growing up, a lot of time the parent think the child is, a lot of time the parent, the child will think that the parent is being overprotected. Huh? Oh, her stuff right there? One of her bottom stuff? Mm -mm. Okay. I think that's about it. Ain't little mm -hmm. Ain't little oh, this right there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, grandma duty is over for right now. <laughs> but anyway, you know how sometimes the child will say that the parent is being overprotected. You know, a child will say, I can't do nothing. My mama want to know where I'm at, where I'm going, who my friends are. I got to be in by a certain time. I can't go here. I can't go there. And the child thinks that the parent is overprotected, but it's not that. It's that the parent loves the child. And when the child, you know, sometimes a child may say, you know, I ain't going to do that because if I do, I know my mama, daddy find out, girl, my parents will get me if I do that. So I'm not going to do that. Parent has a tight cord on the child because they what? They love the child. So they want to know where they're at. Who their friends are. You know, you can, no, you can't go here. No, you can't go there. The parent pulls them back because they love them. They chastise the child because they love them. That's what God does to his children. We are not all God's children. We are all God's creation, but not all God's children. So do not get angry, upset, or feel bad because you feel like as a Christian, you can't do nothing. I've even said that. I'm like, Lord, if I do this, if I do that, I got to go apologize. I got to get it right. It's like I can't do nothing. God quickly chastises me. God quickly tells me you better get it right. And then you look at other people and say, well, they doing this and they doing that. And they supposed to be saved and they supposed to be a preacher. And they, and they do everything and still preach it, baby. They might not be God's child. They might just have a title, but they don't belong to him. Because those whom he loves, he chastises. God chastises his children. He scorns his children. But why? Because he loved them. So don't ever get caught up in what you see other so-called Christians doing and seem like they're getting away with it. Or what you see other, you know, you might see preachers that can have a whole house shouting, and falling out and all that kind of stuff. And you know they lifestyle ain't nothing, honey. They don't live nothing. Gifts and callings come without repentance, y'all. Jesus said, God said they going to say to him, didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we uh, do all this kind of stuff in your name? And Jesus going to say, what, depart from me, I never knew you. Don't. You should rejoice because you can't do what everybody else do. You, that, you should rejoice. That lets you know, baby, I'm a child of God. Because I, I can't play in the mud. I'm a sheep. I can't play in the mud. A sheep can't play in the mud, baby. And not be all right. But if you a pig, if you have a pig nature, baby, you wall all in that mud, honey. You just love the mud. So listen, what I'm trying to say is, no, you can't do what everybody else do. And as soon as you do something that's out of the will of God, guess what? You got to get it right. Because your prayer life won't be right. Your study life won't be right. Nothing won't be right. That's God pulling your cord. That's God chastising you. You know, like when you play, uh, when they play basketball, I think, and, and, and the man blow the whistle or whatever. If they shoot the ball and it's out of bounds, he blow the whistle. You can't continue on the game because you got to uh, start over. Girl, I might be thinking about football. I don't know, but one of them games, either football or basketball, if you if you make a play that's out of something, they'll start you back at a certain point. Anyway, what I'm saying, y'all, because you are God's child, just like a good parent, you can't do what everybody else do. You can't go where everybody else go. You can't dress how everybody else dress. Mm -mm. What your mama say? I don't care how them children down the street dress. You ain't dressing like that. Because your parent got a good standard. 
Your parent love you. And God loves us. And that's why you can't do what everybody else do. Because you, you, you're a child of God. You belong to God. And that's why. Don't be discouraged. Thank God. Thank God that you can't do what everybody else do and feel all right in your spirit. Even when you, you know you talk to somebody wrong, it'll bother your spirit. If you said or done something wrong, baby, you can't sleep. You got to get that thing right. If you lied, any, anything that you done that wasn't in the, that was not pleasing to God, baby, you can't sleep. You can't. But if you find yourself being able to be nasty to people, to cheat people, lying, you know, doing all this kind of stuff, and you sleep good at night, it don't bother you, guess what? You still got a pig nature, and you and you don't belong to God. Because those that belong to God, we can no longer live in sin and be comfortable. So ch- ch- take your own temperature. See where you are. D- d- don't base where you are according to how people view you. Honey, when I preached, baby, everybody was shouting. Girl, I laid hands, everybody fell out. Girl, people got saved when I preach, but you know your life, how you live in your private life ain't ain't a hill of beans. And the enemy is going to deceive a lot of people because they're going to view uh, their response to the crowd where they think they are in God. They're going to measure where they are in God by their responses that they receive from a crowd. Baby, the crowd, most of the crowd going to hell. You better base your relationship with God according to the word of God. That's what you base it on. All right? You a child of God. You can't go out here and do everything, baby. Even things that are in secret. Who you are in private, that's who you are. Don't nobody see you watching pornography. Don't nobody see you masturbating. But God do. And if you can't sleep, you know you're doing them things in private. Ain't nobody see the lie. Can't nobody see you hate somebody or jealous of jealous of somebody in your heart. Can't nobody see that. But God can. So thank God for the correction. Thank God for the chastisement. Thanks God. Thank God for helping you acknowledge the splendor that's in your foot, so you can pull it out. Because if you don't pull a splinter out your foot, baby, and try to walk on it, guess what? You're going to get it infected. Then it's going to get gangrene. And then what? Instead of just working on your foot with a little splinter, you're going to have to cut the whole leg off. Baby, don't get your whole leg cut off. Pull the splinter out your heart when the Lord show it to you. Yes, you belong. You, You his child. Can't do anything. Can't live any kind of way. Can't say everything you want to say. That's because you're a child of God, and he loves you. Thank God for the chastisement. All right. All right. See y'all later.